Let's bring you the lead now. The economic freedom fighters in the Western Cape will on Monday embark on a shutdown against what they say are unjust taxi impounding uh, and the harassment of commuters, as well as service delivery, amongst other uh, matters. An application for a peaceful protest is said to be handed over to the city of Cape Town officials with a limit of a thousand protesters in a designated area. Now in August, the city experienced taxi strikes by operators and associations over the impounding of taxis, which uh, turned into violence, chaos and disruptions to daily operations. However, Santaco in the province says that this uh, upcoming strike does not involve operators or the association as it's an initiative by a political Parties. Let's get more on the story and the strike and the impact on Monday in the Western Cape. We're speaking now to the EFF's Western Cape Chairperson, Unati Ndame. Uh, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for your time. Perhaps let's uh, start uh, right at the beginning. Why are you holding this uh, shutdown? Uh, good uh, morning, Mpo, and to your viewers. Uh, we're doing the shutdown in the province because we're against the unjust impoundments that are happening here where the city of Cape Town led by the DA seeks to make money where they are making millions of money per day uh, out of the sweat and blood of the, of the brothers uh, that are involved in the taxi industry. So we feel that it is wrong and uh, so we have decided to also incorporate the other issues where the city of Cape Town is failing dismally, where the service delivery has collapsed in the Western Cape, where they are not employing uh, some sectors of the society. Uh, where they are not prioritizing the crime that is happening here. So all those issues that people of the Western Cape are sick and tired with, so we've decided that we're going to go there and raise our voices and our frustrations. So the shutdown includes a call over the unjust uh, taxi impoundments, yet Santaco isn't uh, endorsing that. Uh, why is that? No, that's not uh, accurate. The, mm -hmm. the Santaco... Officially, because of the court uh, orders that are there, they cannot come out uh, and, and support the, the shutdown or the protests of the EFF, which will, uh, which will go to and have it. Santaco leaders will be at the march as community members and as members of political parties that will be there. So we are, we are in full agreement with Santaco. We are working with them on the ground as community leaders. So they will be there, the taxi operators and the Taxi owners will be at the march. They received the letter from Santaco that they need to support the march. The vehicles in the Western Cape will be availed for the EFF marchers and all the other political parties that want to partake in the mm. march. So there will be no taxis in the taxi ranks of the Western Cape that will be taking commuters to work because all the people in the Western Cape are sick and tired of the racism that is being done by the DA. So everyone in the Western Cape, uh, is encouraged to please come to the march on Monday. So there will be no taxes in the taxi ranks that will be taking anyone else uh, to other places other than the march of the EFF that is starting at Vanguard uh, Drive next to Langa and going to Endabin where the taxes are being, where the impounded taxes mm -hmm. are, being, are being stored. So, so, so you're saying, just, just for clarity, um, because yes. it's quite important to know, commuters have since been in a panic. They've been sending messages on social media and in their various WhatsApp groups, concerned that they may be affected by the shutdown. Um, are you saying that they will indeed be affected by the shutdowns and taxis will not be operational on Monday? It's, it's only the commuters that uh, have not decided to join the march because thousands of people will be at the march. Uh, we have engaged the community structures, we have engaged uh, the civic society, we have engaged all political parties here that are anti-DA. So uh, we'll be there with the people. Uh, people of the Western Cape understand that all of us are expected to be at the march. So even if people uh, try their creative ways to get to work, how are they going to go back? Because all the tax operators will be at the match. There is no way that any owner of the taxi is not going to be at the match. And there's no way that any taxi driver will not be at the match. Because all of those uh, comrades are sick and tired of what is being done by J.P. Smith in the Western Cape. Uh, the victimization that is being done by the DA. And everything that is happening here that is so wrong. 
So all of us as people of the Western Cape will be attending the match of, of the EFF mm. that will start at the I, I tell you why I ask this, because looking at a statement by Santaco Western Cape, they clarified that taxis would operate normally on Monday and that uh, regions must make vehicles available if members want to join the uh, political party, your, your march, and Santaco members are also free to join the march, uh, just expanding. So they will be normality in some form because taxis will be operating. Is that also your understanding? Yeah, it's what is on paper, my sister. It's okay. what is on paper, but the same Santaco is saying that all its members, the regions, the regions meaning the branches, the branches of, of Santaco is the tax rents, are requested by Santaco to avail taxis to take its members to, to the march of the EFF. So how you want to interpret it, that is up to you. But what we can advise... No, 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 it's not up to me. To it's, it's up to this. It's the statement. The statement says, Santaco Western Cape has clarified that taxis would operate normally on Monday. It's definitely not me. It's the statement that says so. So I'm no, just trying I to get an understanding of the contradictions. Yeah. Yes, there are clear contradictions, my sister. The reality of the matter is that Santaco has invited its members or has encouraged its members to join the march as members of the society, as members of political parties. Mm. So that's what is going to happen. Remember, the taxi owners and taxi drivers are members of the society and are members of political parties. So they will be representing their societies there in the march. So there will literally be no one. So who is going to take the people to, to know, as per the norm? Yeah. I don't know who is going to be taking them. So we're not expecting any normality on our side. We're expecting that... Uh, will be making the uncomfortable people in the Western Cape to be comfortable, and those ones who are comfortable are going to be uncomfortable tomorrow. Yeah. So, so um, the uh, um, City of Cape Town's mayoral committee member for safety and security, J.P. Smith, has uh, said that the protest was limited to 1,000 participants. Are you going to abide by that? Uh, no, we're going to try to abide by that, but uh, because of the amount of frustrations and the amount of tiredness at, uh, in our communities, uh, we don't know exactly what numbers we're going to get, but obviously we have, we have mobilized 1,000 people as per the agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, but J.P. Smith is a person that uh, ordinarily hallucinates. So he's a person that is so out of touch with reality. That's why we are calling in this match for his fall and uh, we're calling for his immediate resignation tomorrow. So the DA must see what it does with J.P. Smith because we don't want him anywhere in the Western Cape and we don't want to see him anywhere in our communities. Mm. It was announced on Thursday that the minibus taxi task team, which is made up of local government, uh, uh, provincial government and Santaco, had now successfully concluded their negotiations since, uh, you know, they've been talking since August uh, and most of September over the past uh, four weeks. And uh, uh, they, they've concluded negotiations and they will now proceed with an implementation period. Aren't you a little too, too late uh, in terms of that aspect? Because uh, negotiations are seemingly going to conclude soon and that uh, all parties will be on the same page. The reality of the matter, my sister, is that uh, due in, in the Santa Claus surprise only on Thursday, the city of Cape Town, because it wants to deal with this much, because it wants to weaken what is going to happen tomorrow, they decided to agree to some certain conditions that were being requested by Santa Claus. And, and then they said they are going to review the unjust laws of uh, impounding a quantum that uh, uh, does not indicate when changing lanes. When the number plate light it does not work, and then they impound those condoms. Remember those uh, fines, those, those, those things you get a fine of 500 rand, and Santaco tax operators are paying 15,000 rand. So they said they are going to review. When we review, it's either the outcome is going to be positive or negative. So they said they are going to review after two months. So they want to postpone the inevitable for two months. The reality of the matter is that J.P. Smith is not going to stop uh, impounding quantums frivolously. So uh, they, are try they are just trying to play mind games. It's the propaganda machinery of the DA and we are ready to confront it harshly uh, on Monday. There have been posters shared with images uh, su suggesting that other political parties, including uh, the UDM and ANC, will join the shutdown. Has the ANC confirmed that it will be part of the shutdown? We have set not less than four meetings with the ANC. Mm -hmm. We have set not less than four meetings with PAC, UDM, 
land party, all the black political parties that are existing in the Western Cape, we can confirm that the ANC is part of this march. They've released a, a detailed statement of why they are involved in this march. So all the political parties that are progressive in the province will be part of that march. But we are not going to dwell much because we don't want to speak on behalf of the ANC, but we can confirm that the ANC in the Western Cape is part of the march. Okay, very well. Thank you so much for your time. Let's uh, perhaps uh, leave it there for now. Um, speaking there to the EFF Western Cape Provincial Chair, uh, Unati Ndame, saying the EFF is indeed going ahead with the strike, uh, shut down for tomorrow, limited to a 1,000 uh, participants there, and, of course, that the ANC is also going to be part of it, as well as Santaco, which, you know, points to some contradictions because they had released a statement saying that uh, taxis would operate as normal on Monday, but of course uh, that is essentially what is set to happen come tomorrow.